there is something weird, despite that, about the transgender question, right? There is something going on that's beyond the very, the, the sort of liberation of fluidity. Something else seems to have happened where many young people in this country now, there's a percentage increase in the number registering for clinical interventions on uh, transgender questions has increased enormously. There's a certain fashion in schools of, mm -hmm. of some sort, and it's a nerve wracking business. If you're gonna get no platformed in this country at university, you know, Germain Greer like, regardless of what one thinks of Germain Greer, the point is you only have to touch on this question. Ian McEwen, who is completely right on liberal uh, uh, a novelist, dared to say the slightly wrong thing and suddenly he's, he, he, he kind of has to apologise and is kind of ridiculed and shamed. So I don't want to get you to say anything you don't believe, but I'm interested in it because I want to be for liberation. I'm not going to stop anyone dressing how they will. But there's something weird about lots of young women wanting to be young men and mm -hmm. lots of young men wanting to be women. I don't feel as though it's a great step forward myself. Mm -hmm. Thoughts? Well, <clears throat> I, I say in the introduction to my, you know, to my new book, my new collection, my particular transgender um, rebellion came at a time when um, there, there wasn't this, uh, these ideas in the air, that the, that, the, that the moment you are dissatisfied with the limitations of your present gender definition, uh, that there is a, 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 this enormous mechanism waiting to alter your body, um, to, to, to halt puberty, to sl slow your puberty down. To, um, uh, uh, people, uh, all very well-meaning and very sympathetic, are there to provide um, uh, surgical uh, intervention into, in, and potential, uh, you know, permanent changes in your body with which there's no going back. Okay? I mean, I, I, for me, um, you know, a, 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 trans, a, a sex change operation um, opens one door but closes many others. Right? So I, 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 I personally believe that um, anyone who um, who, uh, who who collaborates in a, in a, an intrusion into a developing child's body and mind is guilty of child abuse, a crime against humanity, okay, because that child is not prepared to make such a decision, okay, I, I, I think that such, such decisions about sex reassignment surgery must wait um, when one attains a majority, which would be, it seems to me, a minimum of, of age 18. Uh, I'm, I'm very concerned with this because I think that, um, it's become a fashion, okay, uh, that, that, a, uh, that uh, the transgender uh, definition has become a kind of convenient label for young people who may simply feel alienated, okay, culturally for many other reasons, okay, so that in the 1950s they might have become a beatnik, in the 1960s they might have become a hippie and taken uh, you know, mind-expanding drugs, okay, and so today you're encouraged to think that your alienation is because you are not not uh, totally defined, you know, uh, identifying with the, your particular inherited gender definition. Um, so I, I'm, I'm very concerned about this. I think that a lot of it, uh, I think that, that, that the, that the uh, collaboration of the bureaucratic machinery with it has to do with the assault on masculinity, okay? Ah, okay, so you see, trans the gender doesn't really exist. It's not really po polarity. I mean, it's, it, it, everything's all about expanding women's rights, but also terminating men, okay? And, and defining men out of existence. Uh, masculinity is by definition toxic, okay? Mas masculinity doesn't exist. And you see, this is, this is the proof of it. But now I began my, all of my studies, my, my book Sexual Personae began as a dissertation at Yale, uh, graduate school, on androgyny. I've always been fascinated, attracted you know, to the subject of androgyny, uh, and, and that's what the, Sexual Personae is. I explored it in history. But the, the more I explored it, I realized that, um, that historically, this, uh, this, uh, the movement toward androgyny occurs in late phases of culture, okay, as a, as a, a civilization is starting to uh, unravel, okay, and that, that you can find it again and again and again through history in the, in, in the, in the Greek art, okay, you can, you can see it happening. All of a sudden, okay, there's a, there's a kind of, uh, you know, the, the, the sculptures of, of, um, of handsome nude young men athletes that used to be very robust, okay, in the archaic period suddenly began to seem like wet noodles, okay, you know, toward the end, okay, and that, uh, and that, and that the people who, who, who live in such periods, a late phase of culture, 
whether it's, it's the Hellenistic era, whether it's the Roman Empire, whether it's, it's uh, the Mauve decade of Oscar Wilde in the 1890s, whether it's Weimar Germany, people who live in such times, okay, feel that um, they're very sophisticated, they're very cosmopolitan, okay, and homosexuality, heterosexuality, so what, anything goes, and so on, all right, and so, and but, but we, from the perspective of, of historical distance, okay, you can see that it's a culture that no longer believes in itself, okay, and then, and, and then what you, all, what you in, invariably get are, are, you know, are, are, are people who are convinced of the power of heroic masculinity, okay, on the edges, whether they're the Vandals and the Huns, okay, or whether, or whether they're the barbarians of ISIS, okay, you see them, you know, starting to mass on the outsides of the culture, and that's what we have right now, that there is a tremendous uh, and, and, and rather terrifying disconnect between the infatuation with the transgender movement on, in, in our own culture and what's going on out there, okay, all right, and so, and so I mean, that's why I, I'm concerned. I feel it's ominous. Okay, I I, I question whether uh, the transgender uh, choice is um, in, indeed genuine in every every single case. Uh, but what again, what concerns me is when uh, well-meaning uh, adults, you know, believe that they are helping people uh, by by making the easier uh, some permanent change in the body from which there is no going back. Um, you know, for example, Brown University, one of the elite, uh, you know, Ivy League schools in the United States, put uh, sex reassignment surgery on its in, uh, on its uh, student insurance program. Okay, so you so that so that it becomes you know they can get a, a sex change in college. I think I, I I thought, oh my lord. Okay, I I feel that's evil. Okay, because what it does to young, to young people today facing an uncertain job market. Okay, what it says people who are questioning their gender while they're at Brown University um, suddenly feel well, it's like economically you know a better judgment, you know, for me to move now on this rather than to wait till I don't have a job and living in my parents' basement, okay, and so on. So actually, the, you know, the, the adult community trying to be understanding, okay, is, I think, involved in, 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 in possibly making a permanent change in someone's life that, that could have tragic consequences.